Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com. We are here today in the Fifth Street Arcades, and we're here with the founder of Fashion Week Cleveland, Donald Shingler. Donald, thank you so much for talking with us. Thank you for having me. This is your ninth year. You've been around almost as long as Cool Cleveland doing this. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Yes, it's our ninth year as a Fashion Week in Cleveland. And what does that mean, really? Because you hear about Fashion Week in Milan or in New York or Tokyo. What's Fashion Week in Cleveland like? Well, Fashion Week in Cleveland, we don't expect to bring the garment industry from New York to Cleveland any more than we would bring the auto industry in from Detroit to Cleveland. What we do think we can do, and we have been doing, uh, is bring educational programming on the importance of retail and uh, business development in downtown Cleveland. And that's our message, educating consumers and industry leaders on the importance of fashion design and retail. And, of course, fashion retail has uh, moved out to the suburbs years and years ago, most of it, of course. It's coming back in terms of boutique. What's the, what's the whole sort of industry like in, in your vision? What can it be here in Cleveland? Our vision has always been to focus on and showcase the idea that retail will and can come back to downtown. So we highlight different boutiques, different retailers, and uh, we invite them downtown to participate in Fashion Week Cleveland. And now we're going a step further with our relationship with the four Fifth Street Arcades in allowing them to set up pop-up boutiques throughout Fashion Week uh, in the Fifth Street Arcades. So you've got one of these pop-up boutiques here behind you, and so you're using some of these uh, storefronts here in the Fifth Street Arcades. You've got some other cool events happening here as well. Yes. Uh, what we've got uh, this week is uh, on Friday, we have Retails Night Out. What that is, is it allows retailers that are already downtown, the few that, that have wandered on downtown, to join uh, many retailers that we're bringing down here. Garment retailers, clothing retailers, jewelry retailers, like Wicked Sugar behind me. And they're setting up pop-up boutiques. They will be selling things, and they will show us all what a vibrant downtown retail uh, situation would be in Cleveland. You've got uh, events that we've participated with you in the past, uh, like a Glam Jam event. Talk about some of these cool events you've got. Yes, Cool Cleveland, as you know, is a media partner for Glam Jam, which will be on Saturday, May 3. And that involves probably about 10 different uh, performances of bands, musicians, uh, artists, such as uh, stilt walkers, uh, the aerial fabric dancers that end up up in the air, uh, um, tango dancing in the streets because the fact is here at the 5th Street Arcades these are heated indoor streets so hence the new name it was the Colonial Marketplace hence the new name 5th Street Arcades it's one street east of 4th Street and so we have two arcades parallel to each other between Euclid and Prospect and that's where the street festival Glam Jam will be these are fantastic spaces here. They really are. I'm so glad you're using them. We used to use them in Performance Art Festival. What else do you have going on throughout Fashion Week Cleveland? You've got, you've got events for two, two weekends, right? Yeah, central to Fashion Week Cleveland are our educational programs at our museums, at our universities. This year we're having a film at the Cinematique, the Cleveland Institute of Arts uh, movie theater, and it's going to be Diana Vreeland, The Eye Has to Travel. That's a film about the editor of Vogue and Harper's, who um, was very influential in this industry, changed the way magazines are done, created the great uh, costume uh, institute annual galas that are always at the uh, New York Metropolitan Museum of Art, and uh, so before The Devil Wore Prada, there was Diana Vreeland, and, uh, and so this film covers her entire life and educates people on uh, the history of fashion and retail and uh, where it's going in the future. And bring us up to uh, speed on uh, sort of the end. You usually you have a, a very fancy event to, to knock things off here at the end of, the, of Fashion Week Cleveland? Yes, Fashion Week Cleveland this year is arcade to arcade. We've always known that retail was going to come back to Euclid. At least that's been our message that we've been pushing, as you say, for nine years, our 10-year anniversary next year. Has it been slow? Yes, but finally CNN, Women's Wear Daily, national people are picking up the story. Can a Fashion Week bring retail back to a downtown? The answer is yes. The answer is that it's happening. So from arcade to arcade, we're doing these events. As you said, 
now Saturday, May 11, will be our designer runway shows. And that will be at the arcade that uh, the Hyatt Hotel is attached to. And that will be a grand, beautiful place. The space is, is gorgeous. And we'll have 10 designers showcase in uh, runway events. And with that, we'll have a black tie reception as well, where people, guests will, of course, wear tuxedos and uh, mingle with other uh, retails, business leaders, and the designers themselves. You've done a great job of tying in with the community, getting partnerships going, and you've worked with uh, the schools as well around here, the fashion, uh, that have fashion programs. Talk about some of those, those uh, programs you have with them. Yeah, we've worked with every school in the state of Ohio, and uh, very often their graduates will come back and be a designer in our, our runway shows. Uh, other times they will intern, and they'll use that on their resumes. Uh, they will apply for jobs that say Coles, Calvin Klein, and uh, they'll even give us a call sometimes to check their references out. So that they not only work on the events, and uh, primarily Canton Ursuline because they have access, and uh, then they go on to uh, keep contact with us as well. What's your opinion of, of uh, the downtown development that's happened here? Because you've seen 1 Street over 4th Street. It just couldn't be more bustling. Um, you, you see it happening now that the, the casino's down here. You see all kinds of activity. A lot of it is entertainment-oriented. What's your view on this tricky piece of, of retail for fashion? Because a lot of it is big box. A lot of it needs tremendous space, parking, and stuff like that. What's, what do you think the future is? Is it more boutique? Is it more smaller? Is it more pop-up style shops? It's definitely boutique. It'll be, it'll be led by the boutiques. It'll be led by the, by the entrepreneurs. And uh, they will begin setting up the shops along Euclid Avenue. And uh, then eventually, of course, there could be a second phase where a, f a, a few of the more established folks join in. Um, our partners, you know, include, everybody realizes that a, a city needs to have a heart. The ci a city needs to have downtown retail. You can't just set up shopping malls and, and sort of duplicate that kind of feel. People want to come downtown, whether it's about shopping or not, see, see people they know and, and enjoy the core of a city. And that's what we've, we are doing here uh, with Fashion Week Cleveland, making that happen. So w two of our uh, partners in this are the Cumberland Group with Dick Pace and, uh, and the fact that he's taken over the 5th Street Arcades and is starting to work with us to fill it up with retail, garment retail in particular. And then the K&D group, which of course are developing more and more downtown residents. Everybody agrees when you come to a concierge at a hotel uh, and ask, where's the shopping district? And the answer is, we don't have one. Maybe it's in Lima or Aurora that we, that, that we need to have this. And it, it, there's a lot of folks like the K&D group and the Cumberland group with Dick Pace that are working with us to make that happen. Well, you are making it happen, Donald, and I really congratulate you for nine years of hard work, creative work. You brought some of the most creative, interesting people together. You've stayed in touch with the artist community here, and you're never satisfied, and I love that about you. You're always pushing, always working, and you demand a lot of this community and, and its de developers and its leaders. And it's nice to see that finally what you've been pushing on for years is happening. Is happening. And congratulations on that. And, and have some fun at Fashion Week Cleveland this week. I will. I hope you do as well. Thank you. Thanks for taking time to talk. Sure. Bye now. Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com. Have a great week in Cool Cleveland.